What would you do if Pokemon were real? What if you could control little monsters to do your bidding, both big and small? What if they were incredibly dangerous? What if they were incredibly valuable? Let's find out. I want to be the very best Like no one ever was To catch them is my real test To train them is my cause I will travel across the land Searching far and wide It's Pokemon to understand The power that's inside It's you and me I know it's my destiny Oh, you're my best friend In a world we must defend Our heart's so true Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another session of Dungeons & Dragons, featuring Nico, <coughs> me, Brandon, and myself, your Dungeon Master, Sam. Tonight we have something very special and also very different. I've been testing out a special experiment to run these guys through, and it's called Pokemon D&D. These guys, each and every one of them, will be Pokemans <laughs> by the end of tonight. Hopefully, Pokemen. Pokemen. <laughs> these are Poke Boys right now, and at the end of tonight, <laughs> they'll be Pokemen. <laughs> <laughs> I also want to give a cool shout out to HeroForge.com. They made custom miniatures for our D&D characters for the last campaign. And you can see them featured at the end of the game board. Those are the heroes of days past, now immortalized in custom 3D printed bronze. Honestly, they're so sick. And these immortal heroes overlooking the tournament, which will determine the fate of these Pokemon trainers. Or should I say, these aspiring Pokemon trainers. Many hundreds of miles away from Quintonshire, the town in which our last campaign was held, is another town called Porterville. In Porterville, there's a Pokemon tournament coming up, and we have three trainers here who are all disgraced Pokemon trainers. They've lost their permits and licenses to, you know, own and train Pokemon, and they know that their only chance to become the best is to fix their reputation and win this next tournament at any cost. You guys have just arrived at the small town of Porterville where you're hearing rumors that there's a Pokemon tournament coming up here. Not an official one, so to speak, not a huge one. This is an amateur tournament. However, it's enough to get you guys back on that map. So, that being said, you've arrived at the front of the town and you can see it's bustling about with other amateur Pokemon trainers who are also interested in winning that title. Dude, we're all pretty badass looking. Oh, we yeah. all have capes. We're all looking into the wind. We can stand on a cliff very effectively. <laughs> all right, so this here, this is Noggin. And the reason I'm called Noggin is because I think my brain. That's because I'm a bard. I know how to manipulate people. You see, the thing is, no, you think with myself. Your <laughs> you're a bard. <laughs> yeah, you do think with your dick because you're a bard. Oh, man, <laughs> everybody just thinks they know me. A man who knows his wits and knows his way around people. I'm really good at playing the whistle. Like, I'm not talking like a like sports whistle, but like like a flute whistle. I'm also a decent singer, but I'm a little self-conscious. I'm very good at impressions. Yep. My character is this character right here. His name is Drell. He is Drill. a rogue. Uh, I was working for an underground Pokemon fighting ring and on the side doing some thievery and some basic mercenary work. Uh, pretty shadowy guy. Um, I like to think I'm trustworthy, but I'm honestly not as good as a person as I actually think I am, um, yeah. deep down. And that's probably my so biggest So you think flaw. you're like a level five? I think I'm like doing stuff for good, but oh. I'm just doing it for <laughs> selfish reasons. I'd like to introduce my character right over there, and you can give it a point. It's right there, boom, that guy. His name is uh, Boris. I'm a human fighter. <laughs> Boris. Uh, Boris. Impulsive gambler. Uh, I'm kind of a little bit obsessed with, with, uh, with finishing on top, but I'm all about my bros. I don't claim to be a good person. I'm not I'm no, no hero, but uh, but we, when it comes to family, when it comes to friends, those are my priorities. That's what you're all about. Gambler? The thing that Drell didn't tell you, sorry, the thing that D didn't tell you is that 
when we had to rig a fight, it was his job to sneak into the, like the trainer's room yeah, and I, like inject the Pokeballs with... Uh, yeah, I would straight up stealth in and poison the Pokemons before fights so that they would just be half paralyzed during the fight and then they would just die as an outcome. And to me, I thought I was, you know, it's nice because we make a lot of money off those bets. Uh, so it was pretty dark times back then. Honestly, we were just doing it so we could get a lot of money so we could buy really rare, expensive Pokemon so that we could be the best. So we could make even more money. So we could make even more money. That backfired. We had a cool. great thing going. We were making a lot of money. There was a snitch. There was a rat. Um, there was a raid that happened. A bunch of paladins and clerics raided our fight ring and arrested us, took away our permits, took away all of our Pokemon. That sucks. Threw us in prison uh, and we spent Next couple weeks there, luckily, we had made enough money from all our fighting rings and all our extortion wow. that we could bail ourselves out. But now, we are pretty much back to square one. You guys are back at square one right yeah, now. I'd we, say you're at square one. We got about a hundred something gold pieces in each of our pockets and that's it. That's all we have to yeah. our name. That's pretty rough. So you guys were running this ring, you know, this, this mm -hmm. underground Pokemon fighting ring. There was a couple other people, I think, who were involved with that. And the top, there top. was another guy who is also in the Pokemon fighting business you guys need to be aware about. All you know is that his name is Mr. Darkhammer. He's a very mysterious character. All right, Mr. Darkhammer, guys. And he was the guy who ratted you out, actually. He, he was one of the people who reported you guys to the authorities, okay? You've just walked up to the, the town of Porterville. And in front of you, you can see a couple buildings. There's a... Uh, a bustling building here, and you can see, most notably, there is a, uh, a small gnome and a robed man standing on the corner there. The little gnome is holding what looks to be like a small roll of scrolls and a clipboard of some sort, where he's writing down information. And uh, you can see a few bold people hanging around with their Pokemon just hanging out. And there you go, and you're sitting there, and life is moving, and you guys are in the slow lane. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stride down the grass here and go into this building. What? So as you walk past, you notice that this man in green is, stand, there's a man in green there, you can't see him from your angle, but he's actually watching you as you walk past. And the little, uh, he's got a little red kind of winged creature on his shoulder that kind of jitters and flaps up and you realize it's actually chained to him. First things first, we need to find out more about this tournament uh, and see what the, kind of scope out the competition. The next thing we should do is get our hands on some Pokemon. Yeah, that's I mean, our that's, number been, one first been, thing. We've been walking for days, man. I'm well aware of what I mean, we're supposed to do when we get to this town. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <the> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Really like Trying to scope much. out the competition, I'm going to look for some Pokemon. Yeah. Can I see what's right. the door going on here? So, you made your decision. Back to Nico. All right, I open the Nico door. Nico walks up to the shop. Ding, 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 ding. Noggin. And Noggin. he stands there, and you see a little man. Or not a man. You see this chubby fella behind the counter there, and he's kind of fiddling with some sort of vials. He's mixing some stuff up, and he turns to see you, and he's like, "Oh, yeah, good afternoon. Are you here for the tournament? You're probably another one of the trainers, right?" Yeah. What do you sell here? Oh well, uh, I suppose I sell everything from Pokemon supplies to uh, a couple Pokemon themselves. Yeah, you got Pokeballs and all the things you need to catch them. Yep, anything you want. Awesome. See you later. Oh, well, uh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, well. Okay. okay, cool. I rejoined the group. So here's the deal, guys. We can't buy Pokeballs or Pokemon or anything with our lack of licenses. Well, Ask around. I'm going to check out the building over there. It looks like the largest building. I'm going to see if I can schmooze and talk my way in. You should join me because yeah, I can you're good with words. Uh, hey, Boris, why don't you go talk to those guys over there? The guy with the clipboard probably is pretty important. Let's go figure out what the deal is. I'm gonna go in the building and uh, see if I can track down some papers for us. Cool. Cool, so I'm gonna move up. Hello there, I'm addressing the uh, gnome. Hello. I've, I've, I've heard there's gonna be a Pokemon tournament. We saw flyers, we saw what's going on. We traveled from quite a ways away. And uh, you know, I've always, always been curious to try my hand at yep. it. Yep, well, you can find up right here on the, uh, on the forum here, if you would like this kind of Sign up for the tournament. You can sign the form right here. I can give you one. All you need to do is write your name, your yes. team name, all the Pokemon who are entering into the tournament, and then you must provide a copy of your Pokemon tournament. 
uh, with the form, and then you'll be in the tournament. I'll let uh, you know. I'm a bit of a I'm a bit of a first timer, so I actually don't have a Pokemon yet or or a permit. Oh, so I need to acquire that. Well, I can sell you a ticket if you'd like to observe. I no no I I, I actually I, I want to participate. I mean I've been watching on my televisor back at home. Uh, well, oh, no, I mean reading my magic news. <sighs> okay, I'm well, you see, uh, I suppose that if you would like to apply for a permit, you could go see the magistrate in the office, see the stone building, oh, it's protected awesome. by a guard. Inside that building, they can run a check on you and make sure that you are fit to run a Pokemon tournament. <laughs> and there's... And there's still time. There's still time before the, the tournament. Well, oh. the permit, uh, the, the, the Pokemon tournament this evening. So, <laughs> if things work out, you might be in time. I, I, I'm, sh I'm sure we can make it happen. Thank you so much for the information. Of course. I'm gonna, and I'm gonna start heading this way. <laughs> all right. Well, you the, head that the whole way? time, the, the, the robed man is just standing there, just silently judging you. As you do that, I'm gonna step inside the building. I, I guess Noggin's gonna follow me. Yep. All right, we're gonna walk inside this building. All right, so you hop in there. You hop in. You can see instantly, it's a bustling tavern. Woo! Hell yeah, of course there's a tavern <clears> in this town. Sick. The hell you think this is? Inside the tavern, you see this old, like, ogre-y looking lady at the bar. That's where the bar is right Hello! there. <laughs> she has a horrible voice and it's really bad. I'm gonna do a walkthrough. I'm gonna do a perception check to look at each person and see if I can find any shady fools up in here. I'm gonna use a thieves ability, which is called Thieves Can't. It is the ability to uh, convey small secret messages and hand gestures and movements and hide them within conversations so that other thieves or other people who are, you know, working the underground would know these sort of things and they would kind of catch their eye on. So I walk through and I'm doing that as I'm walking through. Just getting my like thief flag him. on. You know? I'm gonna follow him and look at people looking at him. Nice, all right. Well, you think you're, you're walking through. like a badass and shit? You, yes. Well, I'm trying to make sure that- You feel like you're in the in Matrix in the nightclub scene and stuff? Yeah, yeah. I rolled a um, or 16 plus five. I don't know what you're doing. What do you say? You're perceiving. You're just perceiving? Yeah. Uh, you notice there's this little Pokemon on the barrels. Oh, that's pretty rad. The little Pokemon's on the barrels and he's doing this like little like wiggly dance like he's made out of spaghetti. <laughs> Um, and every and like this dude is really into it. And these guys are like talking about how cool it is. Hey, I'm gonna walk up to that. <laughs> Does do I see anything from it? You're not camp? seeing anyone. There's shady nobody right shady in this place. No, no. Nico, roll a uh, wisdom saving throw. Ooh, that's pretty good. 17 plus one, off two equals. Nothing 18. happens to you. You cool. walk up on your own will to look at that Pokemon. I knew. Here's what I also do on my own will: pull out my whistle. And I start playing a little bit of music. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I gotta keep this up. So then I walk down and I keep up my thief swag as I walk over here. And I'm pretty much non-verbally signaling, hey thieves, what up? Let's get some thieving action going. All right, so you walk up to the back here yeah. and you notice that of all these guys here, there's a blue oh. elf with a sword. There's a blue elf with a sword. He's a uh, blue elf. Uh, kind of perks up a little bit and notices your th thievish strut, the little way you shake your little thieving hips when you walk into that room. He <laughs> just can't resist oh, He can't resist. His eyes lock my hips, I see. His eyes lock with your crotch. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, his eyes lock with your, his, your little like, your little hand signal that's like a little like. Well, this is what I'm doing, I'm walking in like. It's like baseball, you're like. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> it's like this, I'm it's like this, it's like. <laughs> That's what I'm doing Strike. as a walker. Strike him out. Strike him out. Strike him out. <laughs> Strike him out. Don't let All him right. get a hold <laughs> Yeah. Take a look around town as I walk up here. So yeah, see the guys here, the Pokemon with the chain. That's odd. Uh, walk right up here and uh, say, ask the uh, guard there. Uh, this is the magistrate's office? Yep. And the guard whoosh, puts his spear out. He's like, only special visitors are allowed in here. Uh, I just I just spoke to uh, the uh, gnome back there, and he said that I need to register in here to get my Pokemon license, and there's still time before shop. So, if you could leave your sword at the door, that would be appreciated. Okay, thank you. All right, I go inside. I set my sword down. Right next to the inside yeah. of the door, the door opens. Smile at the uh, the master. He man. sees you. Set it down. Set it down. Yeah, no problem. All right. Thank you. And inside, you find the magistrate of the town. He's actually here at his desk. 
He's going through some documents. Oh. Uh, good evening, or good afternoon, I suppose. Are you here for the uh, the tournament, I suppose? I am indeed. I apologize. You for... better not be another one of those needing help. I hate to trouble you, but I need to yes. I need to register for the for a Pokemon license for the tournament. Oh, I see. Thank What's your previous experience with Pokemon? Uh, no previous experience with Pokemon. All right, he's rolling Perception. You're trying to roll Deception against him. What did you get? You get plus one to your Deception. Seven. No previous, oh, see, they always come in saying that. No previous, everyone's got, uh, you can't, you can't, you know, it's like a job. Of course you always, you know, you, you have to fake it to make it, so to speak. Uh, so I know, I know we had a little bit of experience. The world oh, come been, on, what's your, been, what's your favorite Pokemon? <laughs> favorite Pokemon, I mean, I've been, I've been, I've been watching all the time, so it's, it's hard to pick a favorite, you know, after I love uh, Charmander. Charmander, <laughs> a little Charmander, a little, little fire lizard. I love them myself. Mm -hmm. I own two, but my wife never lets me take them out. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, that's all right. So, uh, I suppose, would anyone, uh, I guess, call you out as somebody who might be distrustful with a Pokemon or would have any qualms personally with you owning or trading or competing with a Pokemon? Obviously, it's the first time with, uh, with a pet, so I, mean, I, I think I can handle it. I... <sighs> nice roll. It's a 19. 19, well, let's see, an honorable fellow. You see here, that's perfect because we will need one person to vet for you as well on this. We, each Pokemon permit needs to be co-signed. It's not safe to have them running on the streets with people, sometimes they go crazy. The Pokemon, that is. The last thing you need is a co-signature for. Generally, it's best if it's someone local from the town, and uh, if it's someone from out of town, they will need a permit as well. So, uh, if you can get someone from our town to come and, and vet for you, then you'll be on your way with the Pokemon permit. Excellent. All right, I get well, it. You need a Pokemon permit. All right, you're I'm good. I'm gonna open that door and I'm gonna walk out here. Cool. And, uh, I'd like to use my perception to try to pick out who is the owner of this Pokemon dancing on the barrels. I roll a 20. All right, well, uh, you can tell that the one person who owns the Pokemon is this guy with a beer stain and the black hair. All right, I'm gonna start working my persuasion to try to get friendly with him. Shit, I'm just rocking this. 23. So I'm like, <laughs> hey man, that's a really cool Pokemon you got. He's like, oh, I've been waiting for somebody to ask me that. I, I've been waiting to have an opportunity to talk more about him. I've been waiting you for see, an excuse. You see, the best thing about my Pokemon oh. is, and the reason I never get to talk to anyone about my Pokemon, is that he always distracts them. <laughs> <laughs> Once he starts dancing with those little arms, no one can look away. <laughs> well, you know, I've been looking for an excuse to play, play my music, and you know, I think my music and your Pokemon go really well together. Yeah. We'll see about that. Look around you. Do you see how everyone's looking at my Pokemon? Yeah. Your little damn whistle. Ain't got nothing on noodles. Oh yeah? <laughs> oh yeah? <laughs> I'm going to bust out the performance of a lifetime. Here we go! Uh, it's a solid 15. 15 what? 15 charisma. I don't know, it's a performance. I rolled a performance. Impressive. Oh, yeah. oh, okay, okay. He's dissing my whistle. He goes whistling for 15. Noodles, literally, the little noodle he put him on here. <laughs> he's, he's wiggling his arms and stuff and looks, here's the whistle, and he kicks it up like double. <laughs> and and he, like, he does this move where he like does the wave through his whole body and then waves his legs, and no one's looking at you. <laughs> and you. And you even notice it, and you realize that this little guy has better moves than anything you've ever seen. You've I'm ever seen. I'm going to walk away and go talk to D. I'm like, hey D, are you good at pickpocketing? This little wiggler noodles here, he just captivates everybody. What does that even mean? It means that there's pockets that are not being watched that are ripe for the picking. Oh, oh crap. I look over, I go. <laughs> you give me the I give you the thieves can't. <laughs> I'm like, right. And you're like, Cool. And you like, kind of don't do it right, and I'm like... <laughs> you walk to this back room, in. and you look over, and the guy like goes like, notices the little like finger thing you do, or whatever. Mm -hmm. But yeah, everyone else immediately was like, Oh, I got the... Get the fuck out of my room. Get the fuck out of my room. You there what talking? You, you there talking? This is the green guy. I'm like, do you like impressions? I fucking love impressions, but <laughs> I hate you. Get the fuck out of my room. Well, I'm about to change I look mind. over him, I go... You better know your place. Oh, I have shit. business here. Yeah, I'm serious. I was trying to have a fun time. I'm gonna roll intimidation on this yeah. guy. All right, fuck you, buddy. Fuck you. <laughs> I fuck got a. Uh, 
I got a bonus on imitation. In the back. In case your impression's gonna have to wait, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled 13. He's like, the fuck is this guy? The Here, I'm gonna, this shit? I'm gonna say, the what the fuck, fuck is this guy? And the, Just you, like notice, you notice the blue guy that shit. looks over to him? <laughs> do, do the impression, Nico? <laughs> All right, so just to let you know, if I'm mimicking a sound, it's my deception versus their insight. So, um, right now, it is a seven versus their insight. So I'm like, look at the, fu the fuck at this guy. <laughs> Everyone's just like laughs. <laughs> they all laugh and get the fuck out of And the blue guy looks to, to him, the guy who's giving these signals, and he's like, staying silent. He's not saying, he's not, he's not speaking up. I look at him, and I nod at him. And he goes like this. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so that being said, right. he's, he's like, oh. You got, you're this fucking noob. Pokemon trainers coming into our town. There's no way you're gonna beat us. I, I can see you. You guys, you guys are here for that tournament. But just wait until you see us out on that field. You're, you're toast. It's over. It's, it's over. Get these fucking jokers out of here. <laughs> They look like they're like three brothers. Okay. All right. They're like nearly identical, other than the fact that one's blue, one's green, and one's this reddish color. Oh, so they they're so like they very look like similar. A team. Yeah. They look like hell of a team. They look like a team. Okay. I feel embarrassed. Actually, I'm just gonna ask like, hey, are you guys really good Pokemon trainers? That's right. Hell yeah, we are. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. In fact, I'm as I start saying that, I'm trying to persuade them to kind of like me. I'm just busting <laughs> out as much charm as I got. It's a nine. Well, I mean, what what kind of Pokemon are you guys running? Why do you want to know? Well, I'm because I want to find out if you're the guys I know about. Well, if you are you fighting in this tournament? No, I'm just watching. Are we trying to get into the tournament? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't lying though. <laughs> you roll the one. I, and so you say you say well, I don't know what the hell you said, but something went wrong in that in that <laughs> whole mess. And really what happens wrong. is the, the guy in the blue leans over to the guy in the green. And he's like, and the guy in the green perks back and I was like, you yeah, fucking lie. You know who you are. You're one of those motherfuckers who's running that ring. You give us a bad name. That wasn't me. I don't know who you're talking about. Much better. That's a 23. Yeah, well, a friend here says he saw something with one of your friends. All right, intimidate. Your friend is wrong. Eight. Your friend is wrong. <laughs> Look, I don't want to fight. You see, I don't want to fight. I'm going to save that fight, though. For that tournament. Sorry, I seem to have interrupted. I'm on my way out. I'm gonna leave. All right, I'll join you. All right, so Brian's gonna join us inside. Just jump up on the table and hang out. Uh, I feel really awkward about how that went, and I'm feel really uncomfortable. So I'm gonna go over and do oh, my. Whoa, thing. I just got it back in here. How's it going, guys? That's uh, going all right. These guys look pretty distracted, correct? When that little no when noodles kicked up its charm. He kicked it up so hard that even his owner is now looking at him. I just slide a hand and pickpocket them uh, for right. any papers or money or. Since they're distracted, to have, including any Pokeballs. You get advantage. You, you're getting advantage because they're distracted, and you have to beat a twelve. Yeah. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh, I do twelve exactly. You rolled a five. I rolled a five. I get plus three for sleight of hand and thieves. Yeah, I forgot what it was called. It's expertise. You get to choose two of your uh, skills, and you get to double your proficiency bonus for those skills. So you, I go. You put it, put your hands in his pocket. So this guy right here. Yep. All right, it's a drunk guy, and inside you find mm -hmm. uh, three gold coins, and you find um, a small uh, pair of two keys. Wait, real quick. Yeah. Hold on one second. I'm gonna go grab a beer real quick. Another gold coin down. Sounds good. And I'm gonna ready in action. That's my If somebody notices that Darrell is behind him, like doing something, I'm gonna pretend. I'm also gonna have to do a sleight of hand, I think, and pretend to spill my beer on them. So you're gonna, and then, so you're gonna assist So you're gonna try them. to, you're no gonna problem. assist me. Sounds second, good. Second guy, here we go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jesus Christy. Well, I rolled a three <laughs> and a two. I'm really glad I went and got that beer. <laughs> okay, so I rolled a three and a two, so I'm at a 10 right now. Okay, well, so you reach your hand into this man's robes, and it sucks though, because he doesn't have pockets, he has robes. Mm -hmm. So what that means, because you have to go under the robes, <laughs> and up the robes, okay. to feel like the, the pouches he's got underneath okay. his robes. And that's what, that's when he realizes someone's touching him up there. Okay. All right. And spill. 
All right. <laughs> so. Oh my God, I am so sorry. I tripped on my shoelace. All right, so. All right, he's, the beer spills on him. He's, he's just he's like, oh, oh, he's just like covered in beer and looks at I you. I go, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I saw, he, I saw that, he was going to spill beer. You try and pull away, to... and it's like this. It's like. <laughs> I go, oh my god, I'm so sorry. I saw he was gonna spill a beer, so I was trying to help you out. What the fuck are you doing in my road? What the fuck was that? I'm, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry for spilling the beer. Man. I'm so sorry, I'm gonna step between them. I'm so sorry. I go, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Someone recently I stole my out. Pokemon so and I thought I saw some beer lumps. Over you. I thought I saw some lumps that look like Pokeballs, so I wanted to check them out. But you don't have them, I so it didn't Pokeballs, good. those are my balls. I don't, All right. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. It was a mistake. I, I mistook right. you for someone else. All I'm right. I'm going to roll my deception on All this, right, okay? you got it. A man whose balls you throw. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, uh, well, I suppose I should take that as a compliment then. Was, yeah. Let me oh. buy you a drink. I'm going to wait until. You better buy me two drinks. I, two all right, you got it. I'm You're so sorry up. I touched your dick. Here we go. <laughs> I, I call the bar mate over. I give her the three gold piece I stole from the other guy. And I go, give this guy as many drinks as this buys. Dude, yeah, it's, it was a big surprise that he was free mowing it under the yeah, rope. Yeah, it was a big surprise to me. <laughs> all right, all right, you're good. All right, cool. Yeah, things are cool, he's got his two beers. All right, I'm like, like, all right, sorry about touching touching you. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I go over, I go, guys, this is the most awkward day ever. Like, this is so awkward for me. Let's, keep, let's commit to getting the rest of this. I'm gonna go over here and stand by Twiggy. I'm gonna step up on these barrels also and start playing my whistle to uh, Twiggy's dancing. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bard. <laughs> and two. Twiggy's uh, noodles. You guys are noodles owners. Like, get off the stage! Get the fuck off this stage! Get the fuck off this stage! All right, I'm gonna go stage. pick his pocket right now. <laughs> noodles is way better than you. Oh, uh, okay. Man. I rolled a. Uh, a six. It's a nice um, so. fifteen. Roll a fifteen. Yeah. Fourteen. Sorry. What's that? It's a Pokeball. You found a single Pokeball. S slip it up. No, no gold, nothing else? Check that side gold pocket. No permits? No Poke permits? No papers? I don't got some sick papes in there? It's a Poke permit. <gasps> Ten gold pieces. Ten gold pizzas. pizzas. Pizzas? I'm gonna keep playing my whistle until you guys leave this place. All right, I, I go. And then I leave this way. All right, I'm gonna follow you out of here. I, don't, I, I haven't seen any reason to stay in this place. We're, yeah, we're gonna so walk. So these guys walk out of the place, and I join them. Went over to the magistrate, talked about uh, hunting, uh, signed up for a hunting permit. Uh, however, I need a co-signer. I sure open my cape and I pull out a permit and I go, you know, I can pretend I was that guy. Just to let you guys know, I have a spell that's me, made myself look exactly like somebody else, and I have an ability, I took a feat, that lets me sound exactly like somebody else. That sounds exactly what I need to get that. Okay, I give this to you, and I go, go get Brent, or go get Boris signed up. I'm gonna scope out the rest of these people out here. Okay, sounds good. <clears throat> I need to find a little private spot. I'm gonna go here and hide in this barrel right here. And I'm going to cast a little spell on myself. Then I sit there and massage my vocal cords, and I do some tongue twisters and warm up, and I use my actor feet to Pretend to be a different person. I get advantage on all deception and performance checks. Nice. Um, Sweet. And I can mimic the sound of his voice. It'll be insight versus my deception. Nice. And I walk back out. Hi, Boris. I'm Mr. Breger. Oh, dude, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Boris. Wow, absolutely. Thank you for uh, agreeing to co-sign for me. That's Not a problem. Good. It's uh, it's my pleasure, really. I've been looking forward to this my whole dang life. So you want to just be like? It is be him. <laughs> Dude, so, here's the thing, uh, Boris. I got a busy day, so let's get this taken care of right now. All right, let's do it. Thanks. All right, let's make moves. Okay. Hello, guard. We know the drill. I'm back to get my with my co-signer here. I'll leave my weapon by the door again. Leave my weapon by the door there. All right, I walk in two. Um, I'm here to co-sign for uh, this gentleman's permit. Alrighty, are you signing up more for your team? Nope, he'll be on his own. He's oh, a... Really? Amateur, I feel like it's time for him to cut his teeth, just like we all get to at some point in our lives, so it's his turn. Oh, yeah. He saw the potential in me. A little yes. green behind the ears. Be careful not to cut your own teeth on him. <laughs> 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 all right. Uh, 
All right, and uh, here you go. Here's your Pokemon permit. It's a bunch of scribbles, but nice. it means something. Pokemon As I'm permit. standing outside, I look at my Pokeball I stole, and I realize that this is probably the Pokeball for the little pasta arm guy. And I go, shit, this probably doesn't have anything in it. I go, ah, whatever, and I put the Pokeball away. <laughs> good luck in the tournament, and uh, good luck hunting. Yeah, good luck hunting. Oh, exactly. Good afternoon. <laughs> Turn and leave. Grab my, grab my sword on the way up. It's pretty sick. There you go. go. And right. everyone walks out and everyone's eyeing you up. You guys gonna, are strutting with an air of authority now that you are, you have a Pokemon permit. You're gonna, you're gonna walk up to these barrel, guys over. And out comes me, Noggin. Huzzah, what a, what a spell. All right, high fives, Boris. Fucking did it. Fucking Shh. easy. All right, I gotta hunt. I gotta hunt a Pokemon. We don't have much time. So Bok. we got two permits. It'd be great if we could get three. I mean, and also, to be yeah, honest, yeah. I let it a permit in my name rather than this poor I got a permit in my name, yeah. I can go in and do what you did and try to get my permit. I'm pretty good at deception. Okay. Uh, I could probably deceive him <clears> into <throat> getting one. The cosigner can be you. You have a permit. I guess I'm not local. He, but you have your own permit. I do have my own permit. Uh, Who is the highest pass of perception? Uh, I have two. Uh, I have. We, we all the same. You and I have 12. Roll deception checks. Deception? Or like stealth. Roll straight stealth right now. Because right, you guys are talking about some shady business in the middle Ten. of town square. And you 21. notice that one guy with the little flappy thing 16. on his shoulder looked over and eyed you up suspiciously and walked away. I got 16. 21. You guys, you guys are good. You guys are like under the radar. You notice somebody Which way did gave go? you a funky look. You walked into the tavern. I have a what? Give me a Pokeball, give me a Pokeball. Why? I, <laughs> just trust me, give me a Pokeball. Okay, okay, I, I give you the Pokeball. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Go back in the bar. Ah, uh, miss. Yes! Uh, there's a big commotion over there where I spilled my beer. Um, I found this under the bench, and I hand her the Pokeball and the permit. I say, I think it belongs to that man over there with the dancing twig. Um, anyways. Oh, you can hand it to me, I'll give it back to him. All right, there you go. Okay. All right, bye. Bye. Peace. Come back out. Let's try to talk our way through and try to get two more permits. Let's Sounds go. Good. I have Let's pretty go. good deception. You got pretty good deception. We, can, we got this. I'm a likable guy. Yeah. And I'll leave my swords at the door. This guy, yeah, we'll just leave our weapons at the door. All right. Where's the magistrate? All right. Yes, sir. So he's there, he's like, <clears throat> Wow, back again? What What a surprise. So I... Oh, wait a second. Say greetings. You're a team, aren't you? Well, these are, these are my friends that There's I There's three with. of you, and it's three teams, so I get it. I see what's happening we're here. Thinking, we're thinking it might be a team, and I, I, I couldn't help but notice I mean, Charmander would be my favorite. I'm sure those Charmanders really like to see some action and get out there, and, you know, we could take them out for you. Uh, you see, it's tough to part with them. You know, who's going to sign this? Yes. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to co-sign you, I, I, you, you have no reputation. I know you are. I just gave you a permit, but... I'm gonna try to deceive him. This is going really bad. <laughs> I'm gonna try to deceive him and say, I know this is a little off the books. I know this is a little weird and not normal, but we are trustworthy. And I promise you, if you issue us these permits right now, we're gonna win that tournament. And you're gonna see your Charmander up there at the top. You got it. Trust me, this is a crack team. Boris wouldn't put a team together that's not crack. <laughs> Only crack teams here. Yeah. You got your permits. Excellent. Thank you, sir. Thank you so we much. Won't he let signs you them down. up, he dishes them out. Boom, boom, boom. Is that a Pokemon back there? I don't think I've ever seen a Pokemon like that before. Go take a look for yourself. I'm gonna turn around and walk up to that doe and check out what's on the other side of that cage. Don't get too close, he says. And you see this scaly creature with like a long tail and spikes growing off its back kind of like walking around, it's pitch black. We found it hiding around here in the woods and uh, it killed someone. Some, some folk wow. went out there to try and capture it and uh, it, it got them first. It is a Pokemon though. Anything's Pokemon if you put it in a ball. <laughs> <laughs> Just got crammed in the ball. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna cast Speak with Animals. I say to him like, it turns to you and he's like, get me out of here. 
I want more blood. That's what you hear from it. <laughs> I say, Jeez. team up with me, we'll get all the blood you want. It's like, all right, more blood. That's all you hear. Jeez. I say one more thing. How do I get you out of here? Kill everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Kill everyone. <laughs> Never mind, guys. Never mind. All right, I turn around and I go, this is, looks rough. All right. Yeah, that guy can stay in there. All right, we're going to go with our permits, and I look over at you guys, and I say, let's check the shop out. Wait, how do you know where the shop is? Oh, that's right, because your friend Noggin went in there right at the beginning. But there's Checked a big out. sign that says shop. Where is it? This is Pokemart. I knew it would pay off to separate from the group right at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to pop up into this general store, you this Pokemart. The bell rings. The wise man's in there mixing potions. Like, oh, all right, how oh, oh, can I help you today? We would like to see your stock of uh, Pokemon for sale. Pokemon, well, I've got three left. How much are you charging for each of these Pokemon? Each Pokemon is 200 gold coins. Low 200 price. 200 gold coins? Yes, you see, it's a tournament and prices go up. How much, how much for Pokemon, Pokeballs? Pokeballs, 35 gold coins. Let's each buy a couple Pokeballs. Let's go hunting. Let's try our luck. Here's the thing, guys. I spent... Made a game. So, Pokeballs. I spent a lot what of are they? Uh, what you're doing is you're trying to roll higher uh, with your Pokeball bonus than the dexterity save of the Pokemon. A normal Pokeball basically only gets a plus two bonus. However, you get advantage if the target is bloody. I'll buy two Pokeballs. I'll uh, also buy two Pokeballs. 70 gold, 70 gold. I don't have any money to buy a Pokeball. You need 20 gold? Yeah. Okay. I'll give you 10 and you give him 10. All right. All right, so we each get minus 40. 80. Yeah, great. And then he loses all his money. Pokeball, Pokeball, Pokeball. You guys get your Pokeballs. You got him. Right. There are these little capsule things infused with magic. Yeah, basically they'll okay. suck a creature into it. It's what do they decision. look like? They see those little magical like bags, little bean sacks. bags, those little magical sacks. There are these like velvety, shimmering kind of like socks that seem made out of a magical substance. All right, let's go. All right, we go, we leave Pokeballs intact. Here. Yeah, you're walking to the edge of town. There's a guard who walks up there and he's like, oh, well, beyond this point, you have, you're risking your own safety. You see, out here's the wildlands between here and the tournament center. Pokemon might sneak up at you from any corner. You gotta be watching out for yourselves, okay? The grass does that look kind of tall. Are, the grass is incredibly tall here. Oh, so geez. tall, it's up to your balls, your eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> right there. <laughs> All right, let's get some Pokemon action, guys. This is just the beginning of their journey is destined to be packed with nonstop action, millions of laps, heart-pounding perils, and endless excitement. Together, they'll encounter fantastic friends, evil enemies, and meet creatures beyond their wildest imagination. And as their story unfolds, we'll unlock the magic and mystery of a most wondrous place, the incredible world of Pokemon. PD special there. That was scary. Another gun. Wait, first I need all these mags. Gotta get them really fast before the zombies get me. 